Welcome back to Nutel B Reefing. Excuse the noise in the background. That's the dishwasher. Um, this is an update on the mini reef. Um, it's not really an update as much as just uh, showing you guys a new addition and a little rearrangement. Um, the rearrangement was basically this little corner here. Now what we did is we took the gold torch who is looking exceptionally happy. Um, the tank always looks really, really nice at this time of night. Uh, it's just before the lights are gonna turn to their blues. Everything's dropping off. Um, it's mostly just blues and UV at the moment, uh, but the tank always looks really nice uh, under this lighting. Uh, and yeah, so we had um, those bird's nest frags, the pink one and the green one, which were up there. And I made way to make place for that new coral that we've got behind there. But with the lights like this, I just think it's nice to have a quick look. Um, just a quick look at what the corals are looking like. And with this filter that I've got, it's it's really um, it's really close to what it actually looks like. Uh, maybe a bit brighter. Um, like here, we can see a little bit more greens uh, on this coral than you can with the naked eye. But it's um, it's really, really, really close. So the new coral that we have is this, uh, it's a yellowy green colored goniopora. Um, it is sitting, I'm planning on creating a little uh, goni garden on this side of the tank. So what I'm hoping is that I will eventually have, um, let's say maybe from about the bottom, I'll move that mushroom from about there up to maybe there just all different kinds of gonies. I'd like to get a glitter goni soon, maybe a purple one. Um, I've seen some really mad colors, uh, but I'm hoping that I'm gonna get do that to get a little bit of movement in that bottom corner. Uh, with this cool lighting, we can try and have a look around here, see what's going on at the back. There's that chalice I keep telling you about. It's just steadily doing its thing. Every time I look at it, it looks like it's getting a bit bigger than it was the time before. Um, here's our Leptastria rock, which is really encrusting. Pretty much they're all, each little frag that was on there is like touching its neighbor now, which is quite cool. Um, looking really fluffy and puffy. Uh, these little morphs that were on the front here, they've got a pup or a baby there. You can just see it there, they left it still foot behind so it's going to be another one so we've got one uh, there and then there's a new one going to happen there and now we've got those two looking quite nice in this light today um, the zoanthids are also looking very bright the utter chaos uh, always look really nice at this time of the evening um, but the torch is insane like this makes it look bright, but it, it's not far off from, from reality. So this is basically the look of the tank. This is the new piece, nicely extended. Um, the polyps are out. I've always wanted a goni that waves around like that. So I'm glad I've got this one. Um, it fits in nicely. I think the color suits that bottom corner of the tank. I think it makes a nice addition. And um, yes, yeah, so this is the tank for now. Uh, we'll keep you updated on the goni garden and uh, thanks for watching. Peace.